hello guys welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel this is my affiliate marketing website based in nigeria where we compare prices it has been doing really well with over 36,000 monthly visitors chat gpt has been my secret weapon crafting much of the content on the site it has been a while since i last updated the site but here is the exciting part I'm on a mission to skyrocket this site's traffic to over 100,000 visitors within the next 30 days. I will be documenting every single step along the way. So let's get into this video. I've already completed the first step, which is keyword research, where we identify the keyword to focus on. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out now. From the keyword research, we identified our competitors currently ranking for the keyword and analyze what they're doing right and also look for signs of weaknesses which we can then use against them to outrank them. The link to that video will pop up now. Now that we've done all the complex steps, creating the actual content using ChatGPT is probably the easiest part of this. Many people make mistakes by giving ChatGPT a keyword to write about, which is okay in some instances. However, SEO is not about creating brand new content. It's about optimizing what's already ranking to add value. Based on our keyword research, we delve deep into our competitors who are currently ranking for our target keyword. We analyzed what strategies move them forward in ranking and pinpointed areas of vulnerability. This insight will be our leverage to surpass them in rankings. I'll put a link to that video now. With the complex groundwork laid out, the next step is a breeze. So this is our focus keyword, iPhone 15 Pro Max price in Nigeria, which is considered a long tail keyword. And these are the websites ranking for the keyword. By the way, the SERP checker is a free tool by Ahrefs that you guys can check out. The fourth website on this page is one of our main competitors and we create similar content. So I want to recreate the content but implement the best practice from the top three sites from our initial research. Again, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out now. I will open up the website in a new tab and open Ahrefs SEO toolbar Chrome extension. Then click on the content and copy all the headings. This can be very handy when you have a topic with lots of headings. I will paste these headings into my word processor, which is Grammarly. You guys can use any word processing tools that you like or you use. I want to remove some of these headings to simplify the content. This is based on what we've learned from our top ranking website for the keyword. The main title, I'm going to change it to iPhone 15 pro max price in nigeria that will be h1 and then my second heading which is going to be h2 which is iphone 15 pro max price in nigeria and the reason behind this is because it directly addresses the primary search intent providing the readers with information they are seeking right away and the third heading which is going to be h2 tag again it's going to be iphone 15 pro max specifications this heading has been selected based on what is already ranking on google and finally our fourth heading which is going to be another H2, the iPhone 15 Pro Max vs iPhone 14 Pro Max. To further enhance our content relevance and internal linking structure, we can create a bridge between the content and our previously ranked content for the keyword iPhone 14 Pro Max. This will allow the reader from the iPhone 14 Pro Max page to easily transition to the new content, simultaneously sharing the link juice from the ranking page on this one. It is that simple, guys. So this will do for now. And based on the results that we get later, we will further optimize the content by creating tropical authority for the keyword. We'll produce content for the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Plus. All this keyword will be internal linked to strengthen internal connections. So now let's create the actual content. I'll begin by sourcing content directly from my competitor site. Taking this, I'll transition to ChatGPT, presenting it with straightforward prompt. Can you elaborate and rewrite this content? And then paste the source content. Sometimes I will instruct ChatGPT to include link to the original source, ensuring that we can reference it later in our content. While some of you guys might think this is more of a copy and pasting, it is worth noting that specifications remain constant. However, for other content, this approach yields more comprehensive and in-depth result. Once ChatGPT completes the task, I will transfer the content to Grammarly, pasting it under the appropriate headings. In this case, specifications. For the next section titled iPhone 15 Pro Max vs iPhone 14 Pro Max. I will use ChatGPT Bing feature. This will allow us to scrape the web and craft content comparing iPhone 15 Pro Max and iPhone 14 Pro Max. It is essential to keep it nice and simple such as using bullet points to enhance readability and easy to digest. After finalizing the content will again be transferred to Grammarly for final review. Let's now focus on the crown jewel, the main title. This section is pivotal since it's the primary reason our readers are here. Our objective here is to provide a concise yet comprehensive response to their queries. 
From our research, we identified the gaps in the information provided by the top ranking site. Specifically, many overlooked the price and details for the 512 GB and one terabyte variants. In our content, I will ensure these details are included. Furthermore, I will cite the source of this information incorporating external do follow links. This not only allows the users to verify our claim, but also signals to the search engine crawlers that our content is well researched and can be trusted. With our content finalized, it is crucial to circle back and highlight essential details our readers might wish to explore further. Doing so not only announces our user experience, but it also reviews potential keyword to bolster our keyword tropical authority in the future. Subsequently, we will link these identified keyword to authoritative sources. These sources should offer detailed insights or relevant product service related to the term. We need to check if our content meets Google's guidelines for helpful content. To do this, I will search on Google for Google's helpful content guidelines. After copying all the relevant details, I will ask ChatGPT to summarize the information into top five crucial criteria. We can request ChatGPT to assess our content against this criteria. Based on this results, we can adjust our content accordingly. That's a wrap for this video guys, but the journey doesn't end here. Stay tuned for my next release where I dive into posting and fine tuning the content on my site, leveraging some plugins. If you want to see the behind the scene of how my website site operates and generate income and better yet insight on how you can replicate its success don't miss the upcoming video thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye